Interesting. Uh, the co-host got much better looking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's start the show. Are we jumping into it? Let's go. What do you got? The, you know what I got? I got this. I got this. How, how, how could you not be more excited about this? The fact that I, I have a piece of your history that was the thing that started the whole thing uh, of editing, cutting together trailers on film from the movie theater. Well, that, that clearly the answers the question, <laughs> do we throw them away? <laughs> First off, you always have weird stuff. You always have, well, you do. You like, you keep everything <laughs> and the, the only reason you're not considered a hoarder is because you have them in boxes and they're labeled that's the only reason because the amount of boxes you have send me a picture of all the boxes you have dude that's I not thought, i thought dude. the conversation might go this way and i can't say you're wrong but in my defense i, I do want to say this so i do have i i do keep a lot of stuff i don't keep everything but i have a lot of of old you don't keep everything you just pulled out a 1994 <laughs> five trailer film trailer and i'm i was super excited to see that i but but my brain went into trivia mode i was like what what could that possibly be as excited as you thought i should have been i was shocked that you didn't you weren't as excited that i got it I, that i, I understood those strange days I, so I in my head I went somehow he cheated. That that's why that's what that's. that's you want to know what like, I did? He, he filtered this through AI or some shit to be. Able yeah, to you, <laughs> you think that's up there? No, if you on the one that looks like a stock photo of all the um, like the film laid out. If yeah. you zoom in, there's one frame that says strange. So I started oh, going through all the yeah. I so I going through all that yeah, things. That's what Carrie thought you might have done. She's like, "Well, maybe you just zoomed in on the photo. Yeah, maybe I, you know." And I wasn't trying to hide it, hide it. I was, just, you know, whatever. Threw it all out there. Um. So back to the hoarding. Uh, yeah, this is what I have to, to say about it. <laughs> this is what I have to say about it. I. It used to be a lot more valuable to have and hold on to things because everything wasn't so readily available. Like back in the day, like there wasn't, you know, a, a store in every street corner and there wasn't eBay and there wasn't Amazon and there wasn't all that kind of stuff. So you, you know, inevitably I would, I would be the person that people would go to like, Hey, do you have one of these? Do you have this? Do you have this? Do you have this? But now it doesn't, it's, it's sort of irrelevant. And now I've just got a lot of stuff. <laughs> I got a lot of boxes full of like fun, but you I, but are like... the king of eBay as well. Like oh, you love, eBay, uh, how much it. do you think you could sell that trailer for an uh, original? No, next, no, it's not an original print, but it's a, it's a, well, it's a, it's is that an original print Would that. Uh, be no, an original I mean, it's a, print? well, I don't, I don't, I don't know how you, I don't know how you quantify that or qualify that. Uh, I mean, it's, Dude. it's an original, it's an original film. I doubt it. Nothing. I'll bet you nothing. I, I, I bet You're if you went out and looked. I guarantee there's one of those in the world and you're holding it. That's got to be worth something <laughs> for the six fans that have seen that movie. Well, and Carrie asked me too. She goes, well, why did he give you that one? And I go, actually, I think it's because I really liked that. Trailer. You love the trailer. The yeah. trailer was done really well, like with the light back yeah. and forth and whatever. And, and, uh, and I actually had a poster of the movie on my wall and my yeah. dad. Now it's in box 67. <laughs> <laughs> to the tube come on uh I, oh yeah i get it <laughs> my dad uh my dad made comments to me about it because their tagline underneath like his just his face there there whatever was you know you want it and and, and i was <laughs> i was like you know this was like early high school or whatever he's like it's inappropriate and i was like no they're talking about the technology with the neural you know da, 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 you know the whole oh, thing sure and, sure yeah 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 <laughs> do we do we fill our quota of talking about strange days or should we keep going we, we, yeah well you'll cut 80 percent of it out so it's all good so last week's episode i got yeah. a lot of positive emails yeah. a lot of cool like thanks for sharing for sure um, some i actually had some of the old film teachers reach out to me Ooh. film teachers reach out to me god when i talk fast that was you think Gigi when she listened to the episode because she she, she a couple episodes back, she's like, do you want notes? And and as soon as that, like the word notes came out, she's like, no, I, I got it. I'm sorry. Because um, no, I want no notes. Um, but I, 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 she was like, 
God, you guys were talking so fast and just yeah. breezing by things. Yeah. I said part of it was that I said I only have an hour. We only right. have an hour to do this. Yeah. And then the other part was I get when I get really excited, I talk fast. Which, yeah. which when, when you're pitching something in the like, you know, even in our yeah. development meeting, thirty second, thirty second pitch. Yeah, but Kick. the problem is I talk too fast. People are like I don't even understand what's going on. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, but my excitement should sell it. <laughs> There's an art to it for sure. And we've, we've worked with multiple people that are really good. I I've seen some creative directors, uh, that are amazing at detail than painting work, but that, that pacing of like, you know, getting people there and having them feel like it's part of the thing and whatever they are, are fantastic. I, I clearly need to work on that skill. Cause I definitely go fast between the two of us. I'm the one that goes faster as well. Oh, you think Jesus. <clears throat> I do. I think I'm faster. Um, Generally. Yeah. So, but to to last week's episode, I, I it it I had this kind of even some of the old high school people reached out, uh, people we yeah. worked with, uh, and then there was a lot of comments on on the post stuff. It yeah. was it was very kind of liberating. I don't know. I had I felt like this weight lifted off for a couple of days after, mm -hmm. and then uh, yeah, I was good. It was good. Look, look, I've been pushing this from day one that the 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 stories that you and I could tell and the importance of it and the fun that could go along with it and the you know that there's there's good content in that and so last week was proof of that. Yeah, well, everyone's got a breakup story. I think some of these that we're going to be talking about may not be as relatable as a breakup story and and maybe the dream thing, but um, but but to that, um, two episodes in a row with just you and I. That's because. Ooh. Uh, we couldn't make a couple of people's schedules work this weekend. Yeah. Dude, my my what? dogs, my dogs here. So if you see the camera ah, shake, here I we know. Go. I, I, I don't see any pee. <laughs> it's just just quality content. Anytime the dog, anytime the dogs in the room. Um, yeah. So so for today. Uh, yes, I think last week's uh, episode, I think was really great. I'm looking forward to sharing a couple more. We know we've got some, uh, some, some more of the bigger defining moments from our lives, which we're, you know, we try and get into, but we also have like small ones, right? And we talked about for today, like, let's grab a couple small ones to be able to touch on. Again, I, I do think it is relatable. Regardless, I think it's fun to discuss reminisce think about you know and and just openly discuss some of those ramifications right and the things that are associated yeah. with those things i think it's you know that's that hindsight looking back and thinking about how how it affects things i um a little bit to that so and, and we're gonna have uh your son kaden on today right for yeah for well a yeah well, but jump, real quick before we jump on that i um because i was thinking about one of my one of the props that I brought today for one oh of my, my for, for my defining moment, speaking of keeping keeping things and holding on to things, um, actually had uh, this driver, this plastic driver on top, which was from my original uh, remote control car from when I was a kid, right around the same age that I that I built with my dad that I got for Christmas one year. And it was a kit and we built it. And I spent tons of hours, you know, you know uh, playing with it my whole life. And then it, it's been in a in a bin out in my garage for a while. <clears throat> and I was trying to think of some stuff recently to to do with Milo, uh, my son Milo. And like, what are some things that I enjoy doing that maybe he would enjoy doing? And I was like, what about my old car? Like, why don't I go get that thing running again and work it, update it a little bit, get it working, get it running. Um, and and I did. Uh, so I, I literally just got that thing going again. And, and I'm having a blast. It's like little, you know, whatever, 12 year old Eric out there running with the race car out. And I live in a cul-de-sac, just like I used to race around the cul-de-sac at the house I grew up on. Where all thing I was like, oh, I'm having so this much is fun. the this original. Is like, this is your original yeah. RC car that you yeah, and I my, used to to yes, race my, in the back. Yep, yeah, the team associated yeah. RC10. And 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 coincidentally, oh part, part the fact of that what, you know that. <laughs> well, part of the reason I know that is is because I, well, I still have the original box. That's what I was storing it in, right? So I have the original box that it, that it came in the kit came in, but um team associated has continued to make cars the entire time, right? They're they're Here's a legit the question. RC. Here we go. <laughs> Can I finish How my did thought? you How did you ever get a girlfriend in high school? <clears throat> Ooh. Were you I like, hit, hey, let I me show you? Remote control cars. Yeah, between Strange Days trailers <laughs> and really... remote control cars, 
Because <laughs> I no, you know why? Because I went, hey, you know what? I can get us free into the theater because my oh, friend yeah. is. <laughs> no, see, we cut we cut that out. We cut <laughs> yes, the. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Uh, yeah. And, we, and you can cut we're, that out too, but um, no, we're yeah. gonna we're gonna do all the stuff that uh, uh, an episode with all the stuff on the cutting room floor. But go on, I, I, I'm dying to hear more about this RC car. That no, this is the reason it came up is people. because <laughs> the reason it came up is because Team Associated just released a 40th anniversary edition of the exact same car, so they like re-released the original car. Again. How much does so, this car cost back in the day? It, it, uh it was because it was kit, it was the kit was yeah, the problem was the kit was 290 yeah. dollars that did not include like the the uh the transmitter you know the controller and a couple of those things right and, it was expensive. and you could you could build upon that right yes yeah, right. yeah. i mean it was it so was, right so you you and your your did you save up for it is that how you got it it was it was a combination of birthday and christmas gift Right. For me, for me. How old were you? I don't know. I was 12 or 13. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Ish. It was expensive. It was a big gift. Well, because when I got one, I didn't have that kind of money. I didn't have Yaklin money then. Uh, (laughs) So I had like, mine was like 60 bucks and it keeps kept breaking. Uh, I I, I thought there was some, um, uh synergies between the fact that i was trying to figure out things to do with my son and then you had suggested to have Caden on this week so that's something you're doing with your son and i was i was thinking about like do you have anything since you've had kids that you tried to engage with them that was something from your childhood oh basketball yeah a lot of things basketball now now so this kind of goes back to what we'll get to my small defining moment in a second but like i was sitting here next to him before he coming on we were just talking and i was like do you know what blockbuster is and he's like of course i do so there's this weird thing where it's not like with our parents where we couldn't relate because like now things have moved so fast from us to our kids as opposed to when our parents were our age to when they had us as kids sure sure not i mean a lot changed obviously but not like this like we didn't have computers walking around in our our pockets to have give answers to everything so right um so so to that like I can't even show them old video games. Like we have the Mortal Kombat arcade out there, and oh, they yeah. played it yeah, for all. Of... Retro's retro's cool, right? It's I mean, cool. So like, it's cool yeah. to look at, but no one plays it. Like it's right, kind of a waste of money. But the point is, I mean, just some of your point is like, but everything's out there. So so whether it's a whether there's documentaries or it's like pop culture or yeah, like whatever, but, like you know. But even like there's there's some movies that hold up, like like uh, it's the Princess Bride. Princess Bride poster somewhere, but um, like we show them the Princess Bride, they love that. But then yeah. you show them other things. Like I, I thought they'd be geeked about seeing Goonies. It's mm. so slow; it doesn't really hold up. It's yeah. still, it's a good movie to right. me. Right. But like nowadays, kids are gonna watch that. Like it's like thirty minutes before you even see the kids. Like they sure. spend this whole bank robbery scene, yes. and yeah, yeah. So, um, so there's just certain things like that you can't even bring up like an rc car yeah i i could see the kids liking that i don't think they'd be totally into it but i could see them liking that i went out with milo so he has this like really cheapy small fun kid like a super young kid car and when i showed him mine i was like hey bud look i got this working like you want to come see it he goes yeah and then he was like look i got one too right like that from years and years ago now at this point so he pulled it out and we went out there and he was racing his little slow fun thing on the on the you know, out in the uh the road and i was kind of running around you know just trying to test him because i still have, i got to dial some things in in on it but uh he he looked at me he goes this is fun. Can we keep doing this? I was like, yes. I was like, this that's amazing. Like, and I was like, yes, but we're going to get you a little bit better car so you can go a little faster and we can, we can do fun things together or whatever. So I don't know. That's cool. cool. Yeah. It's fun. It's, 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 uh, it's cool to carry some stuff over. All right. I should have wore my blockbuster shirt. So this is a quick hit thing. So there's, so what, what these little small defined moments are, it's almost when we look back on what this podcast is, it's kind of moments to where when you're trying to tell someone about you, let's say you're on a road trip, you could tell these funny little stories and they define you for whatever reason. So I was working at Blockbuster Video 
this was after the movies, the movie theater, which by the way, my brother, when he, when he called me, he's like, why didn't you tell everyone what happened at the movie theater where you guys all got fired? And there was a cleaning house thing. There wasn't a great story. Everyone just got fired. Uh, so I got yeah. fired from the movie theater. That's why I left that. Well, every everyone, like you said, everyone. Cleaned, yeah, it was a cleaned, cleaning came, house. Management thing. came in and said, "We're pulling everybody that's here." Yeah, yeah. It wasn't necessarily anything we did. So um, now on to the blockbuster story, which is certainly something I did. So I was working at Blockbuster, which again I loved. I because you get to rent free movies from them. You can take whatever movies home you want, and I can go and sit and read VHS about, movies. Folks. They, yeah, they were VHS movies. Yeah. Um, at some point, uh, yeah, I guess you're right. It was all VH. It was never DVD when I was there. No, I don't think so. No, 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 yeah. So this is what, 90... Probably 95, 96, somewhere in yeah, there. Yeah. Maybe 97. Because um, do you think it was pa- it was post high school? Oh, for sure it was, yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm, I'm working at the counter, and um, this kid probably... Or no. Let me rewind a second. I got to think about... <laughs> Pun intended. My, oh, wow. Now I have to keep that in. I was gonna I was gonna cut that, but that's actually it's good, Eric. Quick. The very first movie that I rented to someone was I, I rented a rated R movie to an underage kid, and their parents came in and they were like just bitching up a storm. <laughs> oh, you're talking about this was the first incident. The not very the first one incident. Actually, not Correct. the one we're actually talking about. Oh God. right. Right. Yeah, so yeah. Th- you so have okay. history here. <laughs> I, I rented it. This this kid's parents came in bitching. Um, I had a reprimanding talking to like, you know, you can't do that, blah, blah, blah. You got to be more careful. Now, again, I was a good employee, so they didn't just fire me on the spot, which they probably should have. Then I would say probably no less than a month later, these two kids come in and I'm talking like. 11 years old kids. boy and girl kids yeah they come in Probably and they rode they, their bikes <laughs> oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 <laughs> clearly like we are you already know where this is going to go but <laughs> they they bring this rumble fish movie up and i was like oh i've never heard of this movie rumble fish now I, I know what it is now but so i rent it to them obviously rated r unknowingly unknowingly that yeah that's exactly right so the it, the second they walk out news cameras come in and they're like is it your policy to rent rated r movies to underage kids and i'm like a deer in headlights and i'm like uh and then luckily the manager of it is like you can't be in here so they push the 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 um the Camera news crew. cameras out and so they're just on the outside where they're allowed to be just filming in and it's just me staring at them and then i just hear psychowski back room now so of course i get fired right so i gotta go home i'm living with my parents at this time i gotta go home and be like uh i got fired today my mom's like why would you get fired i was like well watch the 11 o'clock news you'll see (laughs) so they were doing this whole sting when you watch the news thing and i can't find the news if anyone could find wald lake commerce township news from back then blockbuster sting operation because they were they went to libraries they went to other places i seemingly trying to get to see yeah it's one of those like let's see what we can do in this place with the whole day it's total setup and um they uh i would think i was the only one on that that news um uh (laughs) clip that that night where like one one evidently's policy (laughs) is rent rated r like the library was strict your mic is just on hot you gotta can you back it it's, off for fuck's sake yeah. jesus I'm keeping all the whole that time all, and I, all, I'm keeping all that swearing I'm keeping all that swearing in why how's that Thank is that you. better yes. yeah buddy yeah see how it's not I, I, dude, there, a, oh, I know but there's a comfort God. there's a comfort being here that's the comfort it's a comfort <laughs> it, it hides covering up your face that's what we're yeah. at well it makes you sound like ass so i'm keeping all of this in you better be comfortable with everything you say on here. That's the power of my, the fact that I get to edit this. Yeah, but I'm posting it, so we'll see. <laughs> no episode this week. All right, is that better? Is this mic better now? Yes. Thank How you. funny is it, too, that Jeff Jeff McDonald's like, hey, by the way, the sure, hey, like, people are going to say it's not plugged your in. XLR, your XLR is not plugged in. Yeah, but but it is working. But was he suggesting that we don't have sound, Jeff? What were you suggesting? <laughs> and why don't don't include me on technical emails? Clearly, do not do 
Damn it, Jeff. Damn it, Jeff. Jeff. I can't even. Uh, like... All right. Yeah, uh, so no. life lessons. Do, was there any life lessons from getting fired from Blockbuster at 18 years old? No. I love that you have a blockbuster story though, and and the Rumblefish. Rumblefish went down in history after that day. It did, I, yeah. I, dude, I, there's, I uh, that archive's got to be out there somewhere. That would be worth just its weight in gold. Oh, it a hundred percent is out there. They, <clears throat> I mean, you can go and get any news piece from whatever. It's just I don't even know what network it was, or and is that what I want to be spending my time doing? Maybe. Did, wait, so did you did you actually watch that evening? I don't. I didn't oh, see yeah. that. You, oh, yeah. Okay, so you saw yeah. yourself. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there, it's not a close-up or anything. Yeah, I would yeah, have to point where I was. But sure, yeah. sure. And I went uh, into panic mode. I was like, uh, oh, my God, they're going to fire me. They're going to fire me. And it's like, you know, it was minimum wage probably at the time. Oh, uh, yeah, like, but it doesn't matter. That's That was your source of income, and that's your gas yeah. money, and that's your, you know what I mean? Like, And, w- and again, when you're trying to find a career and, you know, figure out what you're trying to do in life, and you're just getting fired from job after job. That's funny. Keep I it in mind, it was well, movie, <laughs> movie no, fire. I, for, I forgot you. I remember we had that conversation. You were like, man, I'm trying to apply to film school. If they look into me, I got fired from the movie theater. I got fired from Blockbuster. <laughs> Keep this guy away from Phil. He's stealing trailers, (laughs) handing them to his friends. Oh, that's amazing. Thank God you sold your company at this point. Oh, oh, I boy. love that. Oh, oh, I love that. Steve That's Michaels, hilarious. if you're listening, none of this is my fault. <laughs> but uh, but but you justified renting movies to underage kids, uh, rated oh. our movies to underage kids. I, I I don't have that power anymore. I can't do any of that. So I've got my my um my mini defining moment. All right, let me get my mic exactly where it needs to be for this. All right. Can you hear me? Are we good? Levels are good? Y- yes. They're not popping? Uh, yeah. No, you don't sound... I get excited, yes, Eric. I, excited. I know, but you, then you swallow the microphone, okay. and then okay. it's... All right, listen. The entire time. Listen. Listen. You got tell, it. Tell, tell your story. It's all Here good. we go. Tell your story. Ready? All tell right. Your story. So, um, this is in my last year of my mechanical engineering degree, um, and one of the classes that we had um, had what, like this... What year is this? Uh, 90... Nine. 99 it would have been in 99 Luff balloons there you go um so one of the classes that that i had had this like ongoing program um uh project throughout the whole semester and it was like you know like manufacturing and like you know uh, building and tolerances and like you know capabilities and all sorts of things i'm not going to do it justice i wasn't paying that much attention so that and i have I, in all honesty i have no idea what any of those words mean no, like i get what, if if you put them in a sentence i could probably make up what that means but i have no idea like what that actually means to what you're doing in that yeah class. We, we might cut all this out to be totally honest like in terms of the setup but this is me kind of sort no, of like no 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 because re- this is no here's why we're not we're not cutting <laughs> yeah, this out this is what you have to go through whenever time i tell a story <laughs> well there's that i want the audience to know no because you're getting a lot of like when i get texts from friends and stuff like oh your co-host is really fascinating really entertaining stuff i was like yeah because i cut him out to make him sound like that <laughs> All of this is staying in so I can stop <laughs> getting these texts. How, how, ter- how yeah? terrible I really am. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Yeah. You keep like, going. You no, like, keep going. No, and just everyone's Let's talk more about manufacturing. And- Listen, so that was part of the mechanical engineering degree. So one of the things you had to do was to create the like wheels. And it was about like how tight could you get the tolerances like on 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 how on how the the, the wheel sat. Right. So I ended up designing and, and, and uh, machining like like a wheel and a hub and, you know, whatever scenario. Can that you was- see? Can, can we just point out? This is why I chose the arts and you went the path that you did. Like, I don't even understand. You're talking tolerance and stuff. And I, in my head, I could probably it's guess it's what tight. I, you can measure I, it. I, no, I get that. I could, I could fill in the blanks in my head. Yeah. But you actually had to design that for tolerance and figure yeah. all that stuff out. And yeah, and that's just it. something. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, that's fine. I, I, that's By the way, kind of, real relatable story so far. Go ahead. That's the kind of stuff. It, I'll get there. I'll get there. Uh, right. That's the kind of stuff I like. Okay. So, so that was like the first part. And the second part was they gave you like this gearbox that was connected to a motor. They said, here's the gearbox and, and, and the battery holders. And you had to design a vehicle using the wheels that you made that had the ability to climb uh incline like you, you literally set it down turn it on and it would climb an incline and it had like a couple of bumps that it had to go over so this was the very end uh last day of the semester 
competition to see whose car could go the farthest, right? And you continue to increase the inclines and, and when who could, you know, whose car could last the longest. So you go through these various stages of testing that kind of stuff. So so we designed our, it was, it was a group project um, and we designed, by the way, it was mostly me, um, the, this setup <laughs> that, that that was a four, it was a four wheel drive setup. So I figured out how to use, I actually used some of the parts off of my uh, RC car and I and I found some gears and I, and I created a means to be able to have the drive shaft actually go up to the front too, so we could have a four wheel drive setup, you know, through the whole thing. And, and I was feeling pretty, pretty darn good about it, right? Like uh, with the whole thing. So we got there to the day of, of, of testing and, and we were able to, you know, make it through like the first three rounds, right? Of like the inclines and going over the bump. But then it got to this point where every time it would like the incline was enough that every time it would get to the bump, it'd kind of go up and it'd fall and it'd slip and it'd fall back down and it couldn't make it over that, that bump. And I was like, man, do like, you now we're... design for Tesla cyber trucks? I hate the cyber truck. I know. Have so you seen I'm all like, the problems I have? Yeah, Everything that yeah. you're saying right now is like, that's what they put into production. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're gonna get some hate now. Go ahead, go ahead. Um, uh, I just saw one last night, and Carrie was like, "I was like, oh, cyber truck," and I literally went, huh? and she went, "What yeah. are you talking about?" And I was like, "You don't know what." The, and so I had to bring up the picture. She's like, "She goes, it, it, it's just a triangle. Like, how does that make any sense?" I go, it "Doesn't make any sense." I was like, "It's ugly. Right. It's hideous. It's awful." And go anyway, and look at all the prompts. They recalled every we're, single one. But go ahead. Yeah, yeah. We don't. We don't need to bash on. And, and, and by the way, I have a Tesla, so I'm not yeah. even allowed because they will program my car to like crash. <laughs> If they find out I'm talking smack on a podcast. So, so this is actually the defining moment to this whole piece was. Okay. All right. I, we got to this point, the car could no longer whatever. And I was like, man, I was like, we're done. And there were other cars that were continuing to go farther, whatever. Like, man, we're done. And I was kind of bummed. Right. But I was like, I was done. And one of the group members, we'll call him Mike. Like one of the group members was like, well, wait a minute. What? We're not done. Like what, what else can we do? And I was like, I, I, I do, I got nothing. I got nothing here. I, we're done. And, and, and he's like, he's like, there's gotta be something else that we do. What, what, what can we do? And he literally stood up like we were, you know, in one of the larger areas within one of the, you know, one of the halls, uh, and, and he just starts getting up and walking around and looking and seeing what other people are doing. And, um, and, and talking to a couple of his friends that he had that were in other groups or whatever, right? And he comes back with a roll of double-sided tape, like smaller double-sided tape. And he goes, put these on the wheels. Ooh, cheating. I, I, well, it's not cheating. Like, they didn't say you couldn't do that. It's just we didn't, like, think about it. And we didn't bring any of these supplies. And he had saw that other people were doing that same thing. So it wasn't cheating. They didn't say you weren't allowed to do that or have any sort of, like, adhesive or, you know, whatever to help it, you know, whatever. And so, so... um so I was like, okay. And we like, we, we put it on there and, and then it was like too sticky. It like couldn't even go. It was like sticking in the mat. And I was like, oh, well, let's rub it on the ground a little bit, like running back and forth. So it's not as sticky. And, and then, so it had like some stick them and it, we ended up making it like another two rounds because it didn't like fall back over. It like was able to grip and make it over though. And went through like another two rounds and we didn't win the competition, but we actually, mm -hmm. we, we made it quite a bit further. And I remember having that moment of like, Man, like I had already thrown in the towel mentally because I had a specific idea of like what the thing could be and should be. And then when it was done with that, I was like, it's done. And I was like, that's not the way to operate. Like, like, how do you how, do exactly what Mike did and go, wait a second, like, well, do I need to think about this differently? Like, do I have access to some other resource, some other thing, some other way, right? Like, okay, what am I not thinking about? And I know like that's that cliche, think out of the box, you know, type scenario, but it was like, it, it, but it's kind of like getting outside of your own head about what the thing is. And, I, and I've run into that a couple of times recently where I'm doing a thing and I went, I was like, this isn't working. Well, wait, wait a second. What really has to happen here? Because I'm usually like, uh, I'm usually operating under a certain set of, um, you know, thoughts or like a couple of assumptions or whatever the case is. I'm like, well, wait a minute, is that really true? You know, so, so I actually appreciated that moment from there forward to do that whole like, okay, well, this was the thing that I thought it was, but have that willingness to then go to the next place and go like, well, but wait a minute, can it be something else? Or is there a possibility of something else? I, I wasn't even outside of my head of like, well, yeah. we didn't bring anything else. And he was like, well, who cares? What other things? Let me go talk to some other people, you know, and like went and talked to one of his other friends and his friends like, yeah, sure. Here you go. Have some tape. Yeah. You that know? 
selling guy's whatever. probably running a Fortune 500 company right now. <laughs> no joke. With that, with that, right? With that mentality of like you know of, of it's no joke. But I, I, it was really a it was a small defining moment, but it was influential for me. And you know, I, I think back on like how many people out there are just naturally have that ability, or the way that they were raised, or like the way their brain is wired, right? Are, are capable of doing that. And then how many people like me had to like have an experience to actually you like go like, Oh <laughs> uh, no, I should be doing it that way because I was like this. And clearly that is better. So, so go, you know, operating that way is what I should do here moving forward. I don't know. Well, what I like about that story, I mean, other than the lead up because it's way too technical, but um, it, it, I actually see that a- applied after that in your life. Like it, right. um, I agree you, you, in everything that it. you've done. Yeah. I, I, so, but I also think that that pro, like a million people have that same thing. And, and For have sure. you heard the, um, I always get quotes wrong. You know, I love quotes. I always get them wrong, but there's the, um, don't let great get in the way of good. Mm. Meaning that like, if it's good enough, right. Go. And like, you've always had this, it has to be great. Like, because I know, I know, like you, you built that car with design in mind, with the pieces, the way, all these things that you think of, and it was probably great. But all you need to do is make it good with double sided tape that probably didn't look good and stuff. Right. So, um, you know, when we're dealing with getting stuff on the air, you know, hey, we have a deadline. You could have the best graphic in the world. It's not going to make one person watch your right. show or, or right. one scene is not going to make that person watch the show. So it's like, it doesn't have to be great. It has to be good. I had that same conversation. I, I do struggle with that because I am the, oh, I I'm the guy. I know I'm the guy that wants to shoot for, a hundred, you know, right out the gate on the first go, which isn't realistic, but it is what I typically strive for. I had that same conversation that same year in, in my ME degree program, um, where I built a proof of concept, uh, for this haptic interface. And which is like, you know, which, which, which is something that gives you some feedback, physical yeah, I feedback get it. in the real I, world. I'm glad we're know, doing whatever. a TED talk on this episode. <laughs> Listen, it's not the point. When you focus on it, it makes it worse. Uh, um, so, <laughs> So, 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 um, but, but I was building that and I spent a bunch of time, like I literally spent like overnight in the lab a couple of times, like putting this thing together. And then I brought it in to show the professor and he was like, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, you spent all this time. He's like, um, however, you shouldn't have spent all this time doing this. He's like, this was proof of concept. So proof of concept should have been, you slap this thing together in an hour, two hours max and make sure that it works. And then we'll dive into the next stage and the next step or the whole thing. And I was like, oh, that makes sense. Right. So like knowing, you know, is this what what stage of the development is this? Is this really just proof of concept or is this you're just shooting for the you know moon right out the gate? There's something I was gonna say. So dealing with you as I have over the years, and I've seen your kind of ebb and flow of uh see what I did there? Yeah. Of who you become, um, you have different personalities that are so evident like you you have compartments in your mind meaning like mm. if i'm talking to you about art or something like that you have this always have this stance of like i remember us fighting about i think it was minority report and it's like mm. you can't knock you off your stance of it's a great movie and i was like yeah but there's this problem or this problem or this problem You're like it, it doesn't matter it's a great movie then you have the engineering mind Mm. where when I try and talk to you about something, I can't even relate to what's going on in that computer of yours. You know, like, like I'll give you the problem and then you're computing it and I can't talk to you until you figured it out. And it's interesting because I'm like, Eric, let's hurry this up here. It's not that important. Like, (laughs) let's, let's go, let's go. And you're like, no, because, and you get slow when you talk, you're like, well, you'd have to do this and this. And I'm like, Eric, Eric, we like I, I got to go. <laughs> like, let, let's hurry this up. <laughs> and then you have the kind of fun personal Eric, where it's like none of that is is even dealing with you. Like when when you're when we're out or whatever like that, you're neither of those people. Like you're not the the designer that's like it's got to be this way, or the engineer that's like figuring things out. You're just personable, Eric. No, it's interesting. Yeah, for sure, there is problem solving brain, and I look, I, I there are. 
I process slow. I like when like oh, yeah. when I'm trying to take in all the elements and I'm trying to, to like look at all the angles and I'm trying whatever. Like I get it. And look, yeah, that's look from 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 very early on. It was very much that way in terms of how my brain works versus how your brain works, right? Um, so yeah. It, oh, I'm bam bam. I can't, like I, can't. I, I just start smashing things, <laughs> and you're like, well, if you wouldn't have done that. <laughs> You know, what? I, this is totally random. And the thing I, I literally wanted to punch you in the face when this happened. When I first got my wedding ring, which was tungsten carbide, which you can't cut off like with 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 any sort of 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 uh, modern easy equipment. Right. Because of the, the hardness of it. And Did I put it on. Yes, you fucking put it on your finger and your finger started to turn purple because it was too tight. So you pushed it past. I, I literally said, <laughs> I told you what it was. And it was like, you took it on as a bet and you put it on your finger and pushed it over your knuckle. And then your finger started turning like purple. And I was like, we two can't things. get that off. I was like, I, I wanted to punch you in the face. Two things. Then. Two things. When you started the story with, I wanted to punch you in the face. That could have been one of a thousand stories that you were going to launch into. And eventually those will and keep And number out. two, by the time you got married, you this is on you at this point. You should have known what I would have done. If you said you can't do it, you 100% know I'm doing it. That's on you. You cannot make this into a multi-million dollar podcast. <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah. Uh, All right. Do you wanna you wanna get my son on? See what his sure. defining moment Let's is. Let's do right, it. Let me, let me take. Hold on. All right. Are you gonna do your ebb and flow? Ooh, for Caden? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I Kaden. feel like uh, I'll we do, can it. do it. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is probably more on you. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm nervous about what he said. What if it's stuff I don't want to hear? <laughs> Oh, no, oh, look at is. this kid. There he is. Look at this look at gamer, this. this YouTube star. <laughs> Welcome, Caden. Yeah, is your mic oh. working, Caden? Wait, nope. we can't hear you. You're not your mic's not working. We're off to a banging start. That's all right. It's like it's most of our guests, if we're being honest. Hello, can you hear me? Hey, there, there he we is. Go. There he is. Hi, Caden. Caden, okay, right. don't move, talk too move, close to the there mic. There we go. No, no, move that mic a little closer. Which, mine which or his? Mine? Oh, God damn it. Oh, wait, mine? Yeah, which one? Okay, using that mic? Oh, right, no. Just, I, yeah, take take I, the windscreen I, off, though. Can, no, no. Can you... Wait, he's, use, yeah, what, he's not using, he's not using, using the headset. Kidding? Yeah. Are you using the headset or that mic? No, this mic. Dude, you're going to get an oh. email from Jeff McDonald. <laughs> 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 Jeff, I'd like to point out that you can't see my microphone. And that's for intentional reasons. Um, Jeff, I'd like to point out that this gives me comfort. Caden. Caden, welcome start, to the show. Start, yeah, welcome to Defined. Uh, you started spring, or not spring break, uh, summer, summer break. So you got yeah. the whole summer ahead of you. What's the big plan for the summer? Uh, mostly doing some, like, plans with my friends. Like, we're recording a movie sometime. Oh, yeah. Summer forgot about that what but, yeah this is, this is big news Dude, listen to this so they're like hey we're writing a movie and by the way he's been saving up money asking for props for christmas we got 3d printers he's been trying to 3d print like armor and stuff i was like all right well send me the script this thing's not formatted it is basically like just word after word after word sure. and it's like 35 pages and yeah. i'm like dude if you format this it's going to be like a three hour movie. And I'm like, so which one of you guys is directing? Who's directing this, Caden? Me. Yeah. Oh, see, but, but who did you really originally want to direct this? You. Right. And you know who <laughs> yeah. can't afford that? That kid. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's a smart. You're doing the smart thing. He's not going to say no. He's not going to say no. You ask him some questions. You come yeah. out. You you handle it, but you come with it. You come to him with the questions. He won't say no. He won't. He won't be able to help himself. Listen, this is what and you do. I don't have the time. I'm just going to be like, let me do it. Just get Kaden, out of my way. I'll yeah, direct yeah. it. Hot hot tip, Caden. Uh, your dad used to do this to me constantly when we were growing up. Okay, ready? <laughs> here's here's the setup. Um, he wanted the VHS player to be wired up to the rest of the TV, and then so he'd go up to it and he. He'd take what he clearly knew was the most wrong cable he could possibly take. He'd take a video cable and he'd plug it into the audio connector. And then instantly I'd go like, 
stop it. And I'd smack him away. And then I'd wire the whole thing up, which is all he actually really wanted. So what you need to do is just intentionally screw it up right in front of him. And then you're going to have all the help that you need. That's my advice. Got it. It, it'll work. <laughs> Kate, Kaden, give us the 30 second preview of what the movie is about. 30 seconds, not more than that. Uh, in a world where a, in a world, in a world where people have a thing called a surge, they can gain powers from it. They are trying to stop a great evil and a drug cartel. So, <laughs> God. <laughs> that, that, right. it's got all, it sounds like it's got yeah. all the elements. Is it's got there, all the a, elements. Is there a relationship story yeah, in there who's the love interest? <laughs> yeah. No love interest. Lo the love no, is the surge of power. That's what it this is. This three-hour movie, there's no love interest. <laughs> <laughs> no, nope, not at all. It's a, it's a first go. The, 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 yeah. they'll, they'll work into that. Let them, we can't let them... pay female actors. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, because of the uh, worth too much. And yeah, they are worth too yeah, much. Yes. Uh, Caden, mm -hmm. just so that we know, so the our audience knows, give us your like top three movies that you like. Oh, top three movies. Ready Player One at my number one spot. That's yeah. your number one. Look at that. Love yeah, that. just right who, up. who directed it? Oh, I have no clue. He's never heard of this guy, Steven Spielberg. It was almost. Movie. It was almost your dad's last name. Oh, yeah, mom. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Caden, every now and then you just got to scream. Yeah, grandma. Grandma. Yeah, exactly. She loves that. You I gotta, I'll, I'll catch on. <laughs> yeah. All right. So ready player one. Uh, number two, I, I'll put Spider-Man Beyond the Spideyverse. Okay. That's, a, that's yeah. the last one. Yes. The one that ended with the yeah, cliffhanger. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Well animated. Good story. It's yeah. a great movie. And then number three, probably going to go with the classic Iron Man 1. Ooh. Class, classic from the hey. beginning of cinema. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> classic superhero movie. Uh, that's, a, that's a strong list. That's it's a not a bad list. list. And no, I don't know if you're list. making that up, Kaden, because when I come down and watch what you're watching, it's all nonsense. Like, what were you watching with mom? Like, um, Hardy Boys, Detective, oh, Rock uh, and Fear, whatever? Lockwood and Co. and uh, yeah. Dead Boy Detectives, two ghosts. Yeah, see, those shows. are the, like I'm shocked at your movies that you like. Uh, here, well, wait a minute. You can't just because he's watching it doesn't mean he likes it. No, you that's true. That's just... true. I do like it, but oh, well, I was trying to help you out here, Kaden. Yeah. yeah, come on, Kaden. <laughs> we have a competition in the house because I can only ha love one of my kids at a time. So, <laughs> that's so only enough for he one. Always <laughs> chooses Luna. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, when she doesn't pee. The dog, by the way, for anyone yeah. that doesn't the know. Dog. Yeah. But but now, Caden, after your movie selection, you've now shifted from three right up to number one. Oh, Let's look go. at that! Nicely yeah. done. We do a yeah. ranking system amongst the siblings in our in our uh, our house. Uh, not not well, uh, our, well, with our Milo. Family. Yeah. No, no, no. Milo's Milo. either oh, one or zero. No, no, no. My siblings. Oh, uh, yours. And, this, yeah. and the uh, and the the spouses. That's always fun. Yeah, that's smart. Well, you know what that means. You have to get my brothers on the podcast and see what their top three movies are. Oh, oh no, we don't, because then they're going <laughs> to fall beyond the. They're going to go down to zeros. <laughs> Ethan's movies. Blake doesn't like movies. My my youngest does not like movies. I think the only movie he actually enjoys is the Mario movie. Mario movie, yeah. Oh, wow. Well, the new one. Yeah. 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 Oh, no, no. Not the the one, one with John Leguizamo. <laughs> yeah. Wait, this is for a kid that doesn't like movies. How am I supposed to know? <laughs> well, he loves video games. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's get to it. Let's get to let's, it. Let's get yes. to it, Caden. You, 15 you know years old, here. just turned 15. Mm -hmm. What is your defining moment in life? My defining moment is... Probably when I started my YouTube channel, I was having some trouble like thinking about what my defining moment is since I'm so young and I haven't had many defining Wait, moments. Wait, can we can we say one thing before yeah. we get there? So these kids from the ripe age of like three wanted a YouTube channel. And I, mm -hmm. I always said like, all right, we got to write a business model. You got to tell us how you're different than other people. You got to come up with logos, all these things. So it wasn't that they were just going to do a um, hey, flip on a switch. So that's where a lot of this um, thought process comes in. So go ahead, Caden. I thought, how could I like do something with my life, like entertain people? And like, I started a YouTube channel. It's been decent. So to 
like have a point where I reach out to a small audience at the very least. I think it's like probably my most defining moment. So, uh, wh- first of all, what's the what do you do? What's on the what's the YouTube channel about? What what, so what kind of content do, are you creating? Give the name too. Promote it. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, oh, it's too Subscribe, long. Subscribe, like, comment, <laughs> grandma. You <Yeah. laughs> Uh, I'll, we'll put it in the description, but, uh, no, we won't. You don't get to tell us what goes in the description. <laughs> number two, you're down to number two. I'll comment. <laughs> Who's number one? <laughs> it's, it's a smart, uh, it's a right smart now, response. <laughs> right now, Blake, cause he's the last one. <laughs> uh, All right. So, so what's the content about? So I do gaming videos and two subcategories is like a story game where I'm doing a walkthrough on how to like play the game or like play through. The second one is, is that, like, is that any game or is that specific dude. to, a- uh, I've done it with, I think probably three games so far. Uh, okay. one is my newest one, Jedi fallen order. I have, uh, what's it called for honor. And then the third one, I would probably say it's like, uh, spider hack. First off, so Eric, the 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 leap from games that we played to where they are now, and yeah, obviously it's not that we stopped in ninety five. We've played games up through, but they are so different. So I bought yeah. Death Loop because we had the PS five, and it was like these are the best graphics out there. So I bought it. it just to play it, dude. I literally didn't know how to control things. So I'm like, Caden, can you come here and just show me something? Literally, he didn't know anything about the game. Sits down and like goes into this sub menu, sub menu, sub menu to get to here. It's like, we got to do this. It's like, how do you know this? Yeah. He's like, well, all games are kind of same. And the other thing too is, is like, this kid was crushing it in like Fortnite. Like he was high on the ranking boards and stuff. And I was like, dude, you should be doing this. And what, by, by doing this, I meant making money to put into our account. So, you know, <laughs> you could pay for your own things. True. It's like, when are you going to become this billionaire gamer? Come on, it would, move, it would move you up the list, Caden. I can tell you that, it would, dude. If you start <laughs> profiting, you'll go beyond number one. You'll like, we'll kick Gigi out. It'll just be you and me making cash, fat cash. <laughs> you also make this, this went real negative for no reason. I don't exactly, dude. Know I don't know what it man. is. I don't know what it is, man. I, as soon as the, as soon as it's the like word comment balance, comes in. <laughs> It's like the anger just comes from the front, and I've never come. I never comment on other people's videos. <laughs> yeah, the irony, you hypocrite. I know. I know. Uh, I know. Uh, maybe, maybe that's why it's it's karma. It's comment karma. And maybe that's a real thing. Yeah. So, Caden, tell us what's next for you. What do you What do you got going on? Like, what are you trying to achieve with this with this channel? And what do you, are you having fun? First of all, are you having fun doing it? Yeah, I feel like the only part I'm not like too keen upon is like editing because I'm not the greatest at it and it takes a lot of time. Yeah, I know. I edit this stupid podcast. Yeah. <laughs> um. So so, but so that's really interesting uh, to me, Caden. But you, I'm turning into dad mode here. <laughs> oh, here you, we go. But you, no, here we you, go. You, you ask you him. Get... A, ask him an electrical question. Watch what happens to his brain. <laughs> Do you need something wired up? Um, so, 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 um, but you get that this process and the journey that you're on and the, even the getting the started with the editing is only going to make you better fa- and faster and, and yeah. you know, at, at that. So it's the beginning stages of it that in, in a short amount of time, especially with the way your brain clearly works, you, you'll, you'll, you'll have that. So it'll be good. It's, it's, that difficult part goes away and then it becomes more about the creative because you're so comfortable with the, 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 the tech, you know, technical aspect of the things and knowing it well enough to, then you can, then you can be creative with it. And you don't even think about the, the technical side of it anymore. And when you start to monetize it, just pay for an editor. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should start editing badly so that you jump in and. <laughs> oh, this kid's learning. See? He's see? learning. Yeah. yeah. Gosh, you're welcome. Darn it. You're dude, welcome. Dude, that's, you, you know, oh, you just screwed me, Eric. Oh my God. Cause you, you're right. You're a hundred percent right. Like, yeah. Yes. Yes. So, sorry, buddy. More work Listen, for myself. Yeah. You, you wanted to have him on. This is the price you pay. Yeah. It's, it, the price, the price is too high. We're, we're canceling your YouTube channel. <laughs> Kaden, what, what's been the most difficult aspect of getting the channel created? Is it the editing side of things once you created the content? I feel like 
in between it's either between the editing or like not seeing a lot more growth than I expected because mm. uh getting subscribers like at a like low point is really hard. But once yeah. you start getting like in the hundreds, that's when it starts you start growing a lot more. That's cool. Do you know what can do we ever talk about the inflection point? Uh I think we did, but I do not remember it. Okay, so an inflection point is a business term where I don't know if you can see me. So your growth goes like this, very, very slow. And at some point, you hit that inflection point where it does this. And and it's one of those things you just got to keep at it, keep grinding, keep doing it, keep pushing yourself. Don't sit on like, hey, I'm, I'm at you know X amount of listeners, followers, whatever. You have to change it up and try to attract new. And also, because of the way the internet is and that you're in a, a category that has a millions of millions of people trying to do it, you have to figure out what makes you different and then speak to that audience and show them how you're different. The other thing that I'll say on this is what's question for you is, have you received negative comments and how are you dealing with those? Actually, surprisingly, I have only dealt with like around two or three negative comments. Mm -hmm. uh, the first one... Were they from your brothers? <laughs> Surprisingly, oh, no. Oh, did you bring it from your dad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was it Was it from DMM? <laughs> uh, no. No, they were just from random people. Like, just ignored them. So, they weren't that negative either. When you're on your channel, are you only showing content or are you showing you and content simultaneously? Me and content. Like I have my face cam in the uh, upper, what's it called? Upper left. Got it. Do you get trashed for not wearing Detroit gear? <laughs> I should start wearing Detroit gear. You should. You'll, you, yeah. <laughs> Actually, hold on. Oh, yeah, we're well, holding on. Yeah. Well, while, while he's gone, um, you should just do what we do with negative comments. Delete them. <laughs> No, no, hey, go go look at all of our uh, comments. See if there's any negative ones. Actually, we we kept two negative ones on there, and, and it's funny because Eric will send me like, "Hey, what's going on with this dude?" And it's like, should we respond? It's like, no, probably not. <laughs> We're just gonna let that one lie. Uh, oh, you got oh, the dolphins got hat dolphins. on. Yeah, dolphins. Oh, yeah, buddy. Well, he was born dude. in Miami, so that's born in Miami. That's fair. I guess he's, he's three hundred five till he dies. Uh, well, I don't, is there anything else, Rick? We want to, uh, we're going to have Caden on again. Let's check the progress of his YouTube yeah, channel. Yeah, we'll have to see your, see your progress after this. All right, Mr. Caden, thank you for joining Define Moments of Memories. Uh, Thanks, Caden. Anything else? That's good. Yeah, it's fun uh, to have you on. Like, subscribe, and comment, Grandma. There you go. Yeah. Hey, there you go. Hey, it needs there more anger. Go. Gra grandma. Yeah. grandma. Come on. Let's see the anger. <laughs> yes, Let's see the anger. Go. He can't do it without smiling. Look at him. <laughs> Try not to smile when you do it. Grandma. <laughs> now, here's yes, what you do. Uh, you lean back, throw your hands up. What is going on with this world? Comment. <laughs> So, so angry. I don't, so I, angry. yeah. What's Gosh. funny is, what's funny is you trigger Eric. As soon as I like say anything, you know, when I'm going to start getting angry. <laughs> <laughs> you start, you cross a certain line and then you know, there's no return. There's no, no return. No. All right, Caden. Thanks for coming well, on. Get out of here. Okay. Bye. That's that fun. fun. Yeah. I didn't want to get into, if we have him on again, I'm going to ask him about you. That's going to be more fun. Oh, I didn't even think about that. We should have. No, yeah, no let's. Let, we'll, we'll wait. Do, we'll save yeah, we'll, that. We'll, yeah. yeah, we'll do. We'll do it next. Well, time. well, you should prep them for a couple of things so that we can talk about the story. Because, like, I, like I've told them stories about my past. The clean version, the yeah, network sure. television, not sure. the cable television. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we should definitely next time talk to them about that. Yeah, we should. But you're right. I, I'll, I'll, I'll have to think about it as well. I do enjoy when it's just you and I, though I, I like having guests. You know, I like having the guests on because I do like to For learn sure. about the yeah, people's stories. Yeah. But there is something kind of cool about just you and I doing it. Yeah, I think it's fun. I think it's fun to share. And I, I uh, from day one, you we've talked about this. I think it's about that banter and the, the you know, our back and forth um, that even a couple of people emailed and, you know, and commented on uh, after the last episode. I think that's yeah. fun. It is I think fun. Yeah. I think, and if I think we're having fun, other people will enjoy it. And with that, are we done? <laughs>